Alright, let's fix that right away instead. So, let's get on into side view. I'm going to make this quick. Let's take a look at the blueprints. So, we're going to take this one. Let's just slide it forward a little bit like this. To the very edge where the cutout is like that. Now, we're going to select this one as well. Including the very one at the back there. Press Shift and D. And press B to separate the selection. Press B to separate the selection. Like that. So with that done, we'll now get out. And we'll select this one. And hide it. So we'll take this one and then that one. And press Ctrl and J. Like that. So we'll get into edit mode. And all we're going to do is to zoom in here. I'm going to delete all the ones that are above here and the camera clip the camera clipping options you can see this thing starts to disappear as we get closer you can get rid of that by pressing N going to view and lower this down to the lowest value possible just send it down to the lowest value possible and that should get rid of it so with that done let's zoom in right here we're going to delete all of the meshes that are above to this point so select all of these press X and delete the vertices like that that is looking good so let's take this press G twice and move that to line up with this one like that yeah so now that we have that let's take this and in that press alt and M and say at last I think yeah that's it Take this one and this one as well, press Alt and M, say at last. And take that one and this one, press Alt and M, say at last. Like that. So now let's take the middle vertex here. Press Ctrl and B and let's bevel this. Let's bevel it just a little bit like that. Now take this two. Now just follow exactly what I'm doing or else you have multiple faces in your mesh once you finish so just follow exactly what I'm doing now select those two press alt and M choose at last do the same with this side alt and M at last like that so once you're done select the outer edge loops except for this one so deselect that one press X and delete those vertices so that looks good Nice. So we have two faces here right now, but we'll get rid of it very soon. Let's just do this side next. So let's go into wireframe. I'm going to take this and that one, press Alt and M, see at last. Like I said, the order matters, so select them as I'm selecting them in that order. Press Alt and M, at last. And I'm going to take this and this, this time, Alt and M, at last. Let me just zoom in, make sure I'm selecting the right one. And get into solid view. Am I selecting the right one? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I am. Why not? So let's get into wireframe. Okay, so select this one and then that one. Press Alt and M and say at last. And select this one and then that one. Alt and M and say at last. So that gets rid of the face in the middle here as well. So we're just going to select all the edges down here. Deselect the very vertex up here. Press X and delete the vertices. So all that is left is this side now. We're going to do the same thing here. So let's go into wireframe. Select this and then that. Alt M at last. Do the same with this. Alt M at last. Alt M at last. Let's get to the top here. Do the same thing. I'm not pretty sure which one is which, but I think, yeah, so select this and then that one, Alt M at last, and select this and that one, Alt M at last. So let's get into solid, and let's select all the edges here, deselect the very first one, press X, and delete the vertices. Now this is what we have, that is looking good. So let's transition this more beautifully than what we have, so press G twice, slide this down to match the diagonal much better do the same here just a little bit like that let's do the same up here so G twice slide it in like that do the same here 
slide it in a little bit like that and yeah so that is looking good now but as you can see these two vertices are too close together so that might cause some problems let's fix that right away so just select these three here these three here these three here all the way to I think let me get to side view and make sure I'm getting to wireframe so we don't want it to go beyond this so let's let's get this right guys so these three here as well in fact let's yeah those three those three instead not four so do the same thing here these three until we get here so don't select those ones up to this one press w you guessed it loop, loop tools and select space all right to space them out more equally like that and make sure the bevel goes through very nicely so let me just show you what we just did so you can see we changed the sharpness and made it more mellow like that and it's also maintaining this back here to match the very back here more so that is look, looking good. Press Alt and H to bring back everything else. And you can see it matches much better now. Let's get into side view. Let's get a look. So that is good. That is very good. Nice. Let me get in here now. And again, let's hide these is it these hide these no nope. thing is these instead hide them and select all of this and hide it now let's see how the reflections respond compared to it so there it is you can see it matches very nicely that was what we're looking to achieve and we did so press alt and h to bring back everything else that was what i wanted to fix and we have and you can tell this is going to be coming out very nicely once we're getting there. So right now we have one, two, three objects. I think we can tell down here. Now we have seven objects. So that is three plus four, seven. And those four are coming from the blueprints we added in. You should remember they are also objects. So we have seven objects now, just to be precise. All right, so I'll see you guys in the next video.